If on a late night you find yourself in a major city and you got a chance to bounce, take my advice. Get the hell out of there, man. Checking in early in the morning, man. Just getting my day started. Just want to slide through and make a, a quick video based on my current situation this morning and just uh, my views on how I could have did it different. If you in major cities or find yourself in major cities late at night, you had a long day of driving, you get to make a delivery, like I say, in, in a major city, any city for that matter, but definitely a major city. And you have the clock and, and somewhat the physical stamina to make your next pickup in that city and get out of there, do so. Now, if you eyes is dry and when, before you major delivery, you in that swerving and bobbing and weaving, and rolling the window down, trying to stay woke and that type of thing, of course. Go ahead and go to sleep. Get yourself prepared for your next day and just take on whatever challenges come your way. But if you can get to that location and you got some time left on your clock, even if you're a little frustrated with your previous drive, if you got a few hours left on your clock and, 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 and have the mental capacity to drive another 30, 40, even an hour, try your best to do so. It would behoove you to do so. Because trying to get out first thing in the morning out of some of these major cities sometimes can almost feel impossible. You put yourself in frustrating situations, find yourself in 30 minute backups, hour backups when last night no one was on the road you could have sacrificed like I said a good 30, 45 minutes got yourself out of that major area just into some of the outskirt areas then shut it down now you may have an issue with parking I agree that can definitely be an issue you can try your best to map out some truck stops or, or, or rest areas or just parking situations that will be favorable to you. Try your best to do that. Because trying to get out first thing in the morning, like I said, can be chaos on a thousand. And you don't want to start your day off that way. I mean, sometimes you have no choice. But if you can start your day off as smooth as possible and, and get into your morning routine and, and really get yourself going on a positive note, it would be the best thing for you to do is, is to do that. Now, I'm sure all cities have traffic. I mean, populations are growing everywhere. But places like I'm in, I'm in the Houston area right now. So if anybody's ever been dealing with Houston morning traffic, you already know it's murder to a high level. <laughs> but I don't care, I mean, if it's Los Angeles, Atlanta, the DMV area, New York, uh, Seattle, Phoenix, Portland, Oregon. sucks anywhere almost in California Sacramento any of those areas Michigan all up there in Detroit you know if you if you get a chance to get in and out of some of those major cities throughout the course of the night do that now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to run off duty if you have that ability because sometimes you can get to you know you can make a delivery get to your next pickup or even if your next pickup is outside of that major city don't make that delivery 
and then shut down and, and decide you're going to get up in the morning and travel to wherever you got to travel to to make your next pickup. If you can get out of those major cities at night where you can kind of make that smooth transition, try your best to do so. You know, it ain't. It's not rocket science to know when everybody's asleep. That's your time to eat. Time to put yourself in a position that's more favorable to you. Because it's a lot easier for you to move, maneuver, and just navigate through wherever it is you're traveling to. When you got less trucks on the road for one, but definitely less four wheels on the road. So just like I said, it will be in your best interest to take some time and try to see if you can get 20, 30, 40 miles out of the way. So when you start your next day off, you know, you, 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 you're doing it in a manner that's minimally frustrating to you. And you can kind of keep whatever that normal routine is. Because even though we don't like being in all the rural areas all the time and traveling without a lot to see, all that goes out the window when you're talking about six, seven in the morning, thinking you can navigate your way through a major city. I take one of those rural uh, uh, US back roads or you traveling hours at a time without saying anything, you would take one of those. If and whenever you sitting there in back to back, you know, bumper to bumper traffic. I mean, I guess, you know, you always want what you don't have. But try your best to uh, be a forward thinker when it comes to this trucking game, because that's something that can that can save you. And it's all about mental attitude. So if you can keep your day and start your day off positive, unless something really screwed up happens to you, majority of the time you can keep that, that positive attitude throughout the course of your day, which will definitely cause you to have a positive day. And that's always a good thing. So I'm about to slide up out of here, man. I ain't gonna take up too much of y'all time. But the bottom line, or just to leave you with is, if you get a chance to get out of a major city throughout the course of the night, get the heck out of there. This your boy, Moy 04. This is Married to the Miles. And from me to you, don't worry about what I'm doing. Get your life in gear. Divine Earth, this is your boy Moito Fo, and we gone.